Whenever I'm hired for a job, I can always expect the worst. Little did I know that this time, it would mean leaving my dearest friends. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Yes? Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, you finished with breakfast? Hey, boy, we'll take Dishi away. Oh, yes, we are. Come in. Uh, did you meet my sister? No, sir. Hey, boy, isn't it? Yes, sir. This is my sister, Lavinia Todd Hunter. Oh, uh, hello. How do you do? Uh, was you room comfortable last night, Missy Todd Hunter? I was so exhausted from the trip, I hardly noticed. But uh, I do think I'll like the accommodations of the Carlton. I never thought we'd be able to get a, a suite with two bedrooms. It's almost like home. Oh, yes, Missy. Uh, Carlton is a very nice hotel. But it doesn't compare with anything we have in Boston, Lavinia. Oh, of course not, Miles. But I, I'm so surprised they have anything at all in this godforsaken country that I'm overwhelmed. Uh, hey, boy. Uh, yes, sir. Do you know most of the regular guests who stay here? Oh, yes, I hear boy know many guests. Uh, tell me, do you know a Mr. Paladin? Mr. Oh, yes, sir. How long has he been living here? Oh, many long time. Could you tell us about him, hey, boy? Oh, yes, sir, ma'am. What does he do? Uh, what does he look like? Is he married? <laughs> no, ma'am. No, Mr. Paladin, not married. <laughs> My sister and I have heard that he uh, uh, hires his gun, so to speak. Well, Mr. Paladin will be happy to tell you what he does. So he's a very good friend of Hey Boy. Uh, you like to meet him? No, no, no. We were just curious. We've heard so much about him. Uh, yes, sir. Would there be anything else? No, that'll be all for now. Thank you very much, Hey Boy. Yes, sir. Miles, why don't you want to meet him? Not just yet, Lavinia. We have to go about this very carefully. Well, we don't have all the time in the world, Miles. I know, I know. But even so, you must have patience. Well, don't forget that lawyer back in Boston is looking for him. And if we're too patient, he may locate him before we finish what we came out here to do. You don't have to remind me. Just let me do the planning. Uh. All right. Then where do we start, my dear brother? This hay boy said Mr. Paladin was unmarried. More than likely, he would be interested in meeting a beautiful young lady from Boston. Oh, oh why, thank you, Miles. And then what? Uh, you could entrance him, my dear. Get to know him intimately. Oh. And as soon as we know his weak points and when the time is right, we'll complete our mission. I didn't realize I was going to play such a, an important role. You don't object, do you? Of course not. <laughs> For a hundred thousand dollars, how could I? And besides, he, um, he may be very enjoyable company. While he's still alive. <laughs> Oh, good morning, Mr. Paladin. Good morning, hey, boy. Well, the dining room is rather crowded this morning. Did Miss Todd Hunter come down yet? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, She's waiting at your table over there in corner. Ah, yes. You're getting in rut, Mr. Paladin. Oh, how's that? This makes fourth day in a row you have breakfast with Missy Todd Hunter. She's a very charming lady, hey, boy. 
Well, also very pretty. <laughs> yes. Hey, boy, I'm taking her on a little tour of the city this morning. Would you have a carriage waiting for us out front around 9.30, please? Yes, sir. Have a nice breakfast, Mr. Paladin. Thank you, hey, boy. Good morning, Lavinia. Oh, and good morning to you, Paladin. Well, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. I didn't mind at all. <sighs> How's your brother today? Oh, he's much better, thank you. It, it was just a, a slight cold. The change in climate, I guess. Well, you should have asked him to join us. I did. But he prefers having breakfast in his room rather than getting dressed. Uh-huh. Say, I was just talking to Hayboy. He'll have a carriage for us at 9.30. Oh. We'll take that ride I promised you. Oh, wonderful. Thought we'd go up to Russian Hill, over to Chinatown, and to Meg's Wharf, and even the Barbary Coast, if you're brave enough. <laughs> well, as long as you're around to protect me, why should I be afraid of anything? That's what I like to hear. <laughs> you are going to see so many interesting places today, you'll forget you ever knew Boston. Oh, it sounds so exciting. But, uh... I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to more than anything else. What's that? Having dinner in your suite tonight alone, just the two of us. Did we have that plan for tonight? Yes, why? Oh, I have two tickets for the opera tonight. Oh, no. Well, if you really don't want to go... Well, and I... I'd much rather... Keep our original plans. Then I'd be the last person to break them. It'll be dinner tonight in my room. Just the two of us. Alone. <coughs> uh, uh, pardon, monsieur. Uh, uh, Paladin. Mm -hmm. The waiter is here. Hmm? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, you wish to order, monsieur? Lavinia. Oh. Where have you been all day? <sighs> With Paladin. Where else? It's after five o'clock. I was worried about you. As long as I'm with him, you needn't be. Oh, he treats me like a queen. Now, you're not becoming infatuated. Oh, Miles, don't be silly. I'm just testing, that's all. Then stop it. Granted, he's a... Handsome, debonair, exhilarating man. But um, I wouldn't take him in preference to a hundred thousand dollars, and you know all it. All right, all right. Now, what about tonight? Just as we planned. Dinner in his room at eight. Oh, did you get the brandy? Yes, his favorite kind. Uh, and the poison. It's all fixed. I put the poison in the brandy, resealed the bottle. It's ready for delivery. Oh, uh, good. Ah. Uh. But now, Miles, you'd better go over the details again. I, I don't want anything to go wrong. All right. Just before you arrive, I'll have the brandy delivered to his room with my compliments for being so gracious to my sister and me during our visit to San Francisco. Uh -huh. Then after dinner, he'll open the bottle, pour the drinks. And uh, I'll pretend to sip while he slowly drinks his death. Precisely. Ah. And then the coup de grace to avoid all suspicion. You will leave the room quietly, come back here, and at a late hour I'll go to his room, undress him, put his body in the bathtub, uh, fill it with water, leave everything as natural as it should be, and return to my room. And then tomorrow morning, when I go down to breakfast to meet him, I'll hear the dreadful news. Mr. Paladin drowned in his bathtub last night. <laughs> I'll be completely distraught and we'll leave on the afternoon train. A most happy ah. trip back to Boston uh. to regain our rightful inheritance. Miles, you're sure nothing can go wrong? Why should there? This is the way I disposed of his aunt, and this is the way I'll dispose of him. But that was simpler. She was your wife. You, you were there with her every minute yourself. You, you, you didn't have to rely on me to see that she drank the brandy. True. And if she hadn't been so stupid as to will her estate to an unknown nephew she hadn't seen or heard from in 30 years, I wouldn't have to go to all this trouble. Well, it's your own fault. You should have made sure of the contents of that will. Luvenia, you know she assured me I was the only heir. 
course, I never thought to question it. You mean to say that during two years of marriage, she never mentioned Paladin or, or any other possible relative? As far as I knew, she was all alone with no one to turn to for love and affection except her dear, dear Miles. <laughs> I guess she showed you. Well, could have been worse. At least I receive everything after him. She could have left me out of the will altogether. Mm, that's true. Well, I think I'll get dressed for the evening. This is one engagement I don't want to miss. Have a commander. Welcome aboard. Have a commander. Welcome aboard. The cleaner the tobacco, the better it tastes. The cleaner the tobacco, the better it tastes. Have a commander. Welcome aboard. Light into a pack of new king size Philip Morris commanders. New because the tobacco in them is vacuum cleaned. And the cleaner the tobacco, the better it tastes. Philip Morris Commanders are made by a new kind of machine, the Mark 8, that takes rich, full-flavored tobacco and <laughs> gently vacuum cleans it. Try a pack. See what a difference that makes in your smoking pleasure. New king-size Philip Morris Commanders, noticeably better. The cleaner the tobacco, the better it tastes. I'm a commander. Welcome aboard. Yeah, just a minute. Just a minute. Mr. Paladin? Oh, hey, boy, come in. Yo, you shaving? No, it's finished. What have you got in that bag? Oh, things you ask here, boy, to get. Box of sweets for Missy Todd Hunter. Hey, fancy ribbon, huh? Very nice. Needs a, and a bottle of brandy. Now, let's see that. Yep. Your memory is improving, hey, boy. That's the right brand, all right. Now, what else? And the afternoon mail and a paper you forget to pick up when you come back from your little tour. Anything important? No. Oh, except maybe big fat letter from Boston. Boston? Let me see that. Just put everything on the chest over there, hey, boy. Please, sir. Ah, see. Ah, here, 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 here. There we go, yeah. Here we go. Huh. Hey, boy, listen to this. Please, sir. And we've had great difficulty tracing you, but we now have assurance from the Pinkerton Agency that you are the right party. It is with deep regret that we inform you of the death of your Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace? Huh. Didn't know you had an aunt, Mr. Paladin. I didn't either. Oh, what else does Letta say? She has left an estate valued at more than $100,000, and according to her last will and testament, you are the rightful heir. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, $100,000. May we suggest that you present yourself at our offices as soon as possible with the proper credentials. If we do not hear from you within six weeks, we will fulfill the alternate wishes of said will, and the estate will revert to the only other living heir, her second husband, one Miles Todd Hunter. Todd Hunter? Miles Todd Hunter. Signed, C.L. Glazer, counsel for the estate. Well, I'll be... You are Mr. Paladin. Could that be the same Todd Hunter that is guest here at hotel? I don't know. He has the same name. He's from Boston. It's quite a coincidence. He not ever talk to you about you, uh, Auntie Grace? No. I wonder if this really is my aunt, hey boy. <laughs> How could hey boy know if you don't? Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I vaguely remember my father saying that he had a sister who ran away from home in Illinois when I was just a youngster. Yeah, her name was Grace. 
They'd heard that she had gone to New York, but they never found out for sure. Well, then could be same Grace. Could be. These attorneys and Pinkerton agents rarely make a mistake. What you gonna do? Well, I think I'll go to Boston. We oui, that's a far long way. Oh, when you leave? Oh, for a couple of days, maybe. First thing I'd better do is send a telegram to this lawyer. Uh, here, take his name and address. Just say I received his letter and that I will be in Boston in the very near future. Yes, sir. Huh. Miles Todd Hunter. You go talk to him, Mr. Paladin? I don't know, hey boy. If he's the same one, he would know that I was named in his wife's will, wouldn't he? Oh, uh, yes, sir. He's been very friendly. His sister has been extremely friendly. You'd think that one of them would have mentioned it by now, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, yes, sir. So I see no reason why I should go talk to him, do you? Oh, uh, no, no, sir. No. What about your dinner tonight when we see Todd Hunter? Well, there's no need to change our plans, hey, boy. I'm not leaving tonight, and we won't start packing until tomorrow. No, I might as well enjoy the evening with, uh, Missy Todd Hunter. Yes, sir. Then, uh, hey, boy, better remind Chef to have dinner ready by, uh, 8 o'clock? Right. And before you go, will you draw some hot water in the tub? Yes, sir. I'm going to take a relaxing bath and do a little reflective thinking. <laughs> Your brother was very thoughtful, Lavinia. This is my favorite brandy. Yes. Y yes, he, he wanted to show his appreciation for all your kindnesses to us. Oh. Uh, this is my second glass, and you've, uh, you've hardly touched yours. Oh, I know. I, I like the aroma more than the taste. Drink up. It warms the blood. <laughs> well, I, I, I feel a little... Too warm as it is. <laughs> yes, you do seem uncomfortable. Is something wrong? Oh, no. Hmm? No, I, I I guess it's just the hour. Oh. It's getting rather late. We've had a busy day. Yes. Now, I wonder who that could be. Excuse me. Miles. Oh, uh... Oh, Paladin, I... Come I, in. Well, I... I just came by to see if Lavinia was still here. She is? Come in, come in. You see, it was getting so late that I, I, I thought... I didn't realize what time it was, Miles. Oh, she's a big girl, Miles. You don't have to worry about your sister. Well, I wasn't exactly Oh, I that... must thank you for the brandy, Miles. Uh, won't you join us and have a glass? No, no, but thank you Nonsense. anyway. Nonsense. Sit down. Really, Paladin, I didn't mean to intrude like this. You can stop babbling now, Miles. Get your hands up, Paladin. What? No, Lavinia, don't shoot him. It'll make too much noise. I said get your hands up, Paladin. All right. It is quite a surprise, Lavinia. I didn't know you carried a derringer in your purse. Oh, shut up and keep quiet. Well, Miles, your brandy didn't work. What do we do now? Give me a chance to think. What happened with the brandy? You probably forgot to put the poison in it. Poison? Yes, Paladin. You should have been dead an hour ago. Oh? Well, I, uh... I must have opened the wrong bottle. Uh, the wrong yes. bottle? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, boy, brought me a bottle a couple of hours before yours arrived. They were identical. Well, Miles, that's something you didn't think of. Why don't I just shoot him and be done with it? No. No, we'll be caught before we can get out of here. Yes, the shot would wake the hotel, Lavinia. I'd be willing to take the chance. Now, there's no reason why we can't go through with our original plan. Where's the other bottle? Well, look in his liquor cabinet. <laughs> you really wouldn't expect me to drink the brandy now, Lavinia. If you don't, then I'll be forced to shoot you. Either way, I lose, huh? Either way. Then I think I prefer being shot. Ah! Give me the gun. Miles, Miles, help me! Give it to me. Oh. Right, now take the gun. Miles. You, you shot me. Miles. He's dead. <laughs> A 
Hey, boy, I uh, can't tell you how much I appreciate you coming all the way over here to Oakland with me. Oh, not often you go on such plenty long trip, Mr. Paladin. Uh, Too bad Missy Wong couldn't get off work and come with us to say goodbye. Yes, she wanted to. Well, maybe it's better she not come. She'd be crying big tears on Hey Boy's shoulder all the way back to the hotel. (laughs) Uh, Here you are, Mr. Paladin, right on the spot. Uh, Thank you, driver. Uh, Here you are. (laughs) Thank you. Oh, you need help with those bags? No, Hey Boy and I can handle them. Uh, You will wait for him, won't you? Oh, yes, sir. And see that he gets back to the Carlton? You count on me, Mr. Paladin. Good. Oh, here. Hey, boy, I'll carry the big one. Oh, please, sir. All right. Let's go. Ah, we want car 14, hey, boy. Well, we we better hurry, Mr. Paladin. That's all right. Yeah, that's my car right over there. Oh, Oh, what we do with these bags? Put them in the vestibule. The conductor will take care of them for me. Here we are. Up they go. There we are. Oh, that's it. Now, remember, hey, boy, the other trunks are ready to ship. I'll write to you and let you know where to send them. Mr. Paladin, when will you come back? I don't know, hey, boy. All depends on how long it takes me to liquidate my aunt's estate. Several months at least. Then you never know. I may take a liking to Boston and settle down there permanently. It won't be the same Carlton Hotel while you're gone. Oh, now. I've left many times before, hey, boy. You saw, but this time you will not come back, maybe. You never can be sure. Just don't forget me. Keep looking for me. I may be back. You saw, I hope so. Oh, and don't forget to send me the San Francisco papers. I want to be sure and follow Miss Todd Hunter's trial. Oh, what do you think they do with her? Send her to jail for a few years. Well, you better go, Mr. Paladin. Yes. Now, um, hey, boy, look, if, if you and Miss Wong decide to get married... Give me plenty of notice. I will be back for that. Oh, uh, uh, we we like you. I'll let you know. All right. Well, goodbye, boy. Goodbye, Mr. Paladin. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Paladin. Gun Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hey Boy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun Will Travel by Mr. Paris. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Bartlett Robinson, John James, and Lynn Allen. Tonight, CBS Radio brings to a close this current series of programs. This is Hugh Douglas extending best wishes to you from the cast and crew of Have Gun, Will Travel. (laughs) 